Welcome back students to part 3 of chapter 4, Climate. Today, we will go through the climate of Brazil in detail with geographical explanations. Because of the vast latitudinal extent of Brazil, it experiences wide range of climatic variations. Brazil extends from 5 degree 15 minutes north to 33 degree 45 minutes south. So, the equator passes through the northern part of Brazil and the Tropic of Capricorn passes through the southern part of Brazil. Now, in our previous presentations, we've already studied the heat zones. Okay, so if you go to see Brazil extends from 5 degree 15 minutes north to 33 degree 45 minutes south. So major part of Brazil lies in the tropical zone. That is the torrid zone. And the sun's rays are perpendicular in this region. Hence, major part of Brazil experiences hot climate. Okay. And the sun's rays are oblique in the temperate zone and since the tropic of capricorn passes from the southern part of brazil this particular region the southern part of brazil experiences mild climate brazil gets rainfall from the southeast trade winds and the northeast trade winds Parts of the Brazilian highlands, okay, they extend up to the northern coast. The escarpment acts as an obstruction to the winds blowing from the sea and cause orographic type of rainfall in the coastal region. So in a previous slide, we've already studied how the orographic rain occurs. So this is the leeward side and this is the windward side. So the coastal region experiences more rain and by the time the winds blow to the other side of the mountain, okay, the moisture becomes less, okay, the moisture content in the clouds is less and then hence this particular side is called the leeward side. We've already seen in the previous slide that beyond the highlands, the effect of the trade winds get reduced. As a result, the rainfall is minimum on the leeward side of the escarpment. This region is a rain shadow region. This region is also called the drought quadrilateral. Considering the temperatures in Brazil, the northern part of Brazil is hot okay, because of the equator. And the southern part is comparatively low because the temperature in the southern part is low because of the Tropic of Capricorn. Now, we find a seasonal variation in this particular pattern, which means that the climate in Brazil is usually hot and wet. Okay, throughout Brazil, the climate is hot. Okay, and in major parts, the climate is wet that is we experience rainfall but if you go to see in the southern part of brazil the climate is milder and wet and has different seasons like us okay just like we have four seasons the southern part also experiences four seasons some rain all year round okay and you may also get snow in winter which is around july Near the equator at the Brazilian coast, temperature does not vary much. Now for this we need to keep in mind that land gets heated and cooled fast as compared to water. Water takes more time to heat and more time to cool. Now the sun rises high by midday. It heats up the ground and the surface area around it. Water vapor evaporates from the ground and the trees and the surface water. The air, warm air rises up, okay, and the air condenses with height. 
clouds are formed and when they get heavy they fall in the form of rain now once they fall the land gets cooled okay and and water gets heated so winds move from the land to the sea so near the coasts in summer cold sea keeps the coastal area cooler okay and in winter heat is released by the sea and the sea keeps the coastal area warm so we say that near the equator at the brazilian coast the temperature does not vary much that is there is not much variation between the warm and the cold climates okay now in the coastal regions near the equator in brazil difference in temperature are neg negligible that's the reason the temperature difference is negligible now the winds move in the vertical direction in this region similarly the convergence zone of the trade winds is weak here so let's understand what do we mean by convergence zone for this we need to understand that air travels from high pressure area to a low pressure area okay now for convergence zone okay we need to understand this figure now this is the equator now because of the heat because of the rays the rays of the sun fall directly over here and so here the air is warm since the air is warm the place is heated okay the air gets heated the air around here gets heated and it moves up a low pressure zone is created here now this is intertropical convergence zone that means the winds from both the tropics okay the northern and the southern part they converge here that is they meet here so the northeast trade winds okay near the equator okay the northeast trade winds and the southeast east trade winds they converge or they meet near the equator forming clouds so when they meet here okay the winds because of the uh because the air is warm the winds move in the vertical direction and they form clouds in this particular area okay this is the convergence zone which is shown in red so they form clouds in this particular area resulting in rain formation okay so that's the reason they have written here the winds move in vertical direction in this region similarly the convergence zone of the trade winds is weak here so the convergence zone since a low pressure area is created okay and the convergence zone meets so here if you go to see there is only low pressure area created we see no high pressure zone here so since in the absence of high pressure what if there was a high pressure here okay if there was a high pressure here okay winds would have traveled from high pressure area to a low pressure area winds would have traveled and there would be a cyclone here but because there is absence of high pressure okay the convergence zone becomes weak and that's the reason in this particular area okay in brazil we see cyclo cyclones are not formed okay that is why tropical cyclones rarely visit the coasts of brazil because for cycle cyclones to form we need a high pressure and a low pressure area so if you go to see in a low pressure area the winds move in a see in this particular thing the winds are moving in clockwise direction and in a high pressure zone the winds moving in the anti clockwise direction so what happens the high pressures high pressure winds okay they are chasing the low pressure winds and thus cyclone is created in, in water but due to the pres, uh, absence of high pressure zone in brazil we rarely find cyclones most of the part of this country lies in the tropical zone so we've already studied that most of the part of brazil lies in the tropical zone the equator passes through the northern part of this country hence the temperature in this region is more the average temperature of the amazon valley is about 25 to 28 degree centigrade now the climate in the is is cooler in the highlands because of the mountains okay 
because of the proximity to the sea the coast experiences mild and humid climate we've already learned this how the coast coastal area experiences a mild and humid climate the amazon valley receives around 2000 mm of rainfall okay while the northeastern coast receives 1000 to 1200 mm of rainfall now since we are learning the climate of brazil in detail i would like to draw your attention to the following things now we have already studied that brazil almost 90% of brazil lies in the tropical zone hence the climate is hot year throughout the year but there is difference in the rainfall varies in brazil due to the following factors okay because the rainfall rainfall varies in brazil in different areas there are different climatic zones in brazil now why does the rainfall vary the rainfall varies because of the altitude okay the height of the place latitudinal location distance from the sea prevailing wind pressure that is the northeast and the uh, southeast trade winds and the relief or the topography of brazil with this children we have come to an end of our today's session but before we end our session would like to tell you all that as teachers we'll miss your smiling faces each morning in our class we miss your many questions we miss your jokes and laughs hope to see you soon children stay home and stay safe thank you